wee little baby. Look at this wee little baby here. Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. I have a soprano ukulele from Enya that I'm going to be reviewing for you today, as well as comparing it with its larger counterpart. So yes, if you've seen my channel before, you know that I played the larger ukulele, the travel one, with the carbon fiber plastic model. And now I'm going to compare it and contrast it with the smaller one. This video is not sponsored, but this was sent to me in PR by Enya. So thank you for sending me this so that I can review it for you, so that you can make the decision that is best for you. Okay, let's get into the specs. This soprano ukulele has 13 frets from nut to upper body, and an additional four frets from the nut to the cutaway, making it 17 frets in total. A compensated saddle, drill through bridge, solid headstock, open geared tuners, a matte finish. It's made of a carbon fiber composite polycarbonate, so also known as plastic, making it less susceptible to temperature and humidity, and also making it water resistant. The thin body makes this ukulele lightweight and compact for travel. Other features include an arched back, radius fretboard, and a cutaway body to access the upper part of the fretboard. It does state on the Amazon description that this is not compatible with wound strings or strings containing metallic compounds. So if you're looking to restring it with a low G or with strings containing metal or restringing it with steel strings, I'm guessing it will scratch and ruin the instrument and it could also cause tension issues on the neck. So I'm gonna follow the advice of the people that made it and I'm not gonna restring it with any type of strings other than the ones that it came with or the ones that it recommends. The case is a shell-like structure with zipper enclosures. There is a limited US warranty and customer support and it's priced at $59.99 US. joy about the soprano is that it is higher in pitch but is not the tone is not garish in in your face and i like that sometimes i play some sopranos and i'm like oh that's that is a soprano and it it's just really high pitched and it's just not my cup of tea this is really nice it's got some richness to it you can definitely tell it's a soprano but it's not going to smack you in the face with its tone i like that <laughs> We have strap buttons, no strap buttons. We have kind of like the pressure release valve for the sound. We have the sound port right here at the top. We have no port here. So I think maybe because just trying to make it structurally sound because it's smaller, they didn't feel the need to have the strap buttons and the sound valve or the, the sound port at the top. Um, because it already has really good projection anyway, in my personal opinion, and it's lighter, so you necessarily wouldn't need the strap buttons. If you wanted the strap buttons and that was a deal breaker for you, uh, you know, maybe talk to oh, Write Enya and give you your constructive criticism and feedback and, you know, hey, who knows? Maybe the next generation you'll see strap buttons. Now, as far as overall of depth of sound, I would say, yeah, this one, the larger one, has more depth. It has more of a range because there's just more space for that sound to resonate 
off of. There's more surface area, so to speak. And, you know, this one, does it sound bad? No, it doesn't. Not, I think that because you have two different sizes, you just have to find out which one is going to be best for you. The main difference between the two is the size. One is a soprano, one is a concert. So the soprano is going to have a shorter neck with fewer space between the frets, and it's going to have fewer frets. Shorter neck, smaller body. Concert is going to have a longer neck, more space between the frets, more frets, and a larger body. Um, you still may want the uh, more space between the frets. And so then I would say go for this one if you are looking for a nice travel uke. But you may want to go for the soprano because it's just, it sounds like the quintessential ukulele sound, you know? Yeah, so sometimes you may want just something a little smaller, something more compact. This would be really great for um, a beginner and it, it's not going to uh, break the bank. So that's really nice. There's a, some really good affordable options that I'm seeing out there. Something that I do like about this design is that it doesn't have a silver overspray over the frets. And I've seen that on the Kala Waterman as well as on the, tr the Flight Travel Ukulele where they're silver, they, they're painted silver and they have a tendency to flake off. And um, some people would say like, that's not a big deal. To me, it's really not a big deal, but it just kind of makes it look a little more worn once they are worn off. With this, it doesn't have it. It just has a really nice sleek, look to it. As far as pushing down, it's really easy to push down. The string action is low, but also note that the frets are not very tall to the molded fretboard. So advantage to that is that there's not going to be any fret sprout. And I like that. It's meant to be a travel uke. You're not uh, supposed to have to worry about it. So with the carbon fiber and plastic, molded plastic, it's just made out of materials that are are going to last through some wear and tear and some hot weather, cold weather, things like that. If you're interested in those two ukes, I'm going to link them in the description box below, but please note that those links are affiliated where I receive a small commission off of each sale and that goes back into my channel. So thank you so much for supporting me. Okay, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the smaller version? Do you like the larger version? Which sound did you prefer? If you were traveling, would you like something smaller, larger? Let me know your thoughts because your opinion matters. Okay, hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.